right, boys. hey, bring it up. A lot of energy, take care of the baseball. Let's go. Let's go, boys. I see all three. One, two, three. Let's see. Like this weekend was a, a good thing for our team in that you know we overcame a little bit of adversity losing Friday coming back and getting a win Saturday losing Sunday coming back and getting a shutout win on Monday anytime you go into ACC country and Kate and split it I think that's good for a young team and an experienced team we have plenty to work on um, we're looking forward to get back on the practice field and having a big week in the Dodger Classic we went out to North Carolina and split between uh, Wake Forest and Duke we were two and two out there um, and Wake Forest is a good team. They play to their park. You know, they, they, they know what works there. They know how the field plays. And so they did a good job. And I think we went out there and competed. And then Mason Perryman threw a gem for us again on uh, Monday at Duke. I mean, Hubby talked about keeping the ball down in the zone, minimizing walks, and trying to get the job done as far as keeping my pitch count down. I knew that the bullpen had been used all weekend. And um, we still had a few arms left in there, but I just wanted to do the best I could to get through as many innings as I could to help the team out. Matthew Acosta's throw at second base completely changed the outlook of the entire game because something like that, really for the mindset of a pitcher, you know, starting the game with a guy on second base and nobody out versus nobody on base and one out changes everything. And then Dempster with the big fly, that that's a huge run, you know, put us in the lead. And then um, another play that deserves recognition was Murphy throwing the kid out at second. Um, with nobody out, and he was their fastest runner on their team, I believe, and like I said, having one out with nobody on is a lot better than the second with, with nobody out. We're so Southern California heavy on our roster, getting to play your rival at um, one of the most historic venues in, in all of baseball, I think is a thrill for all of us on both sides and, um, and for the players in particular. Anytime you get to step on a big league field, it's, um, it's I think a dream come true for a lot of these guys. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be the same feeling. There's, it, there's nothing like stepping into Dodger Stadium last year. Um, it was the first time playing in there and being able to you know, really be on the field level, playing against UCLA and then seeing the big crowd. Um, there's no better feeling than that. And then really feeling like you're a professional. They treated you, you know, extremely well there. Um, I'm sure it'll be just as special this year as it was last year, but um, yeah, it's an awesome feeling stepping on that field.